Hi students, coming to next topic that is design and implementation of simple central processing unit. So let us see how the central processing unit will be designed and implemented. So actually the central processing unit has some components like uh, it has ALU, arithmetic logic unit. It's, it's having registers which is used to store the data temporarily. Uh, memory and IO interfaces memory and IO interface control unit control unit clock and buses okay so these are all the different uh, components that are present in the CPU so actually what is a cpu cpu is nothing but a central processing unit uh, we call it as also the processor which is having the processing capability it all it does the operations like processing calculations and decisions so this processor can perform these type of operations it's having it's do the processing calculations and decisions okay so actually the main functions of central processing unit will be first it controls it controls the opera, uh, system it performs data movement the CPU has a functionality of data movement and it is having the data processing, data processing capability and it's having the data storage functionality. So these are all the different functionalities that are present in the central processing unit. Okay. So actually, uh, this is a, a CPU central processing unit. We call it as a processor. So this doing the processing calculations and decision uh, operations will be done by the processor. So here we are giving an input. Okay. The input may be any of the sensors or any of the input devices will be connected to here. So whenever the user give the instructions, the processor will perform the operation like processing calculations and it will perform the decision operations. And this processor will be connected to the process state. So this process state, you call it as a memory. Memory. So this memory is connected to this processing device. And output. So whatever the processor is doing the operations that has to be sent to the output devices. So this output may be any of the CRT displays or lights, whatever it may be, which we are able to see. So that is the output. So this is the uh, basics of this simple central processing unit. So let us see uh, what is the uh, internal operations that are performed in the central processing unit. So this is a generic computer organization. Here you can see this is a generic computer organization and this is a CPU internal organization. So first let us see what is this generic computer organization. So in this generic computer organization you can see this is a cpu central processing unit this central processing unit will be connected to the memory subsystems and the io subsystems so central processing unit is the device which is performs the operations so these device will be connected to memory subsystems and io subsystems with the help of system bus the system bus is consisting of address bus data bus and the control bus so with the help of this bus the signals will be passed from one system to another system so actually the address bus is a unidirectional bus and whereas data bus and control bus is a bidirectional bus so data bus is used to hold the uh, sorry address bus is used to hold the address of the particular system and coming to the data bus, data bus holds the uh, whatever data that has to be sent from memory to CPU or CPU to memory or from IO to uh, CPU or from IO to memory. So data bus is used to hold the data of uh, instruction 
and the control bus is used to hold the control signals means it pass the controls uh, to address and data bus to where we have to send the data and where we have to get the data so that will be done by the control bus so these all three devices will be connected internally with the help of the system bus the system bus is nothing but address bus data bus control bus so this is a generic computer organization let us see the cpu internal organization how this cpu internal organization will be uh, okay. so cpu internal organization means you just take this part only this part the cpu so let us see what it is there inside the cpu so inside the cpu you are having three components control unit so control unit arithmetic logic unit and registers okay so these are the three units that are present inside the internal organization of cpu so this control unit is sends the control signals to the registers as well as the alu so alu is the arithmetic logic unit which performs the arithmetic and logical operations register is a processor register which is used to hold the data a temporary data will be stored but it is very fastest storage device so this control unit sends the control signals to the registers and the alu uh, the controls that are comes from the control bus this control bus which are connected to the external devices and this register will sends the data values uh, to control unit as well as to the alu so in the form of operands so after op performing the operations it sends the result the data values to the result so registers first send the data whatever the operation has to be performed to the alu after performing the operation it sends the result the data values again to the registers so now the register is holding the result of the uh, information that will be sent to the external devices with the help of data bus okay along uh, to where we have to send that will be uh, based on address bus the data will be sent to that particular address okay so this is the cpu internal organization so what this control unit will actually do okay so this control unit always controls the operations of it controls the operations of cpu central processing unit means the complete cpu uh, memory and io components so the control unit controls the operations of cpu memory and io component based on the sequence of instructions in memory okay and again this control unit executes the cpu instruction it executes the executes the cpu instructions which are stored in memory so these are the operations that are performed by this control unit now coming to the uh, actually i said this the main functionalities that are done by this uh, the functionalities uh, of the cpu or the control data movement so i said control data movement data processing and data storage okay so these are the main functions that are done by the cpu i said so means this complete cpu is performing these functions main functions so it controls the first one is its a control unit controls the execution of the program okay after controlling it moves the data to the data register now coming to the next alu so what this alu will do okay alu is nothing but it is used for data processing so alu is used for data processing so only uh, for data processing we will we will use arithmetic logic unit so what this uh, alu will do alu will manipulates manipulates changes combines and calculates data values okay so the alu will nothing but it is doing the data processing in the central processing unit so what type of data processing it does it manipulates 
changes, combines and calculates the data values. Okay. So next what is the next function is data storage. So data storage will done by the data storage. Data storage. So data storage will be uh, used in the registers. So the registers are used to store the data, whether it will be the input data or the output data, that everything will be stored in the registers. Okay. So this is control and data movement and the ALU is for data processing and data storage function will do by the registers. So registers, what registers will do? It holds, it holds the value values in CPU. It holds the values in CPU. Each register has a unique name. So whatever the register it is taking that each register is having the unique name in the data storage. Okay. So this is the internal uh, organization of the CPU. So the internal organization of CPU consisting of three main components, control unit, arithmetic logic, unit and the registers so this uh, three components having the main it does the main functions like controlling data movement data processing and data storage okay the control and data movement will be done by the control unit and the data processing will be take care about the arithmetic logic unit and the data storage will done in the registers thank you